Hello YouTube, one more time. Um, on today's video, I want to share with you guys some findings uh, regarding this W140 or a 97 S class. This is an S500 right here that we're working on. Um, so basically, it had a um, bad ignition lock that is a common failure after a good while. And uh, these pieces in here, they just tend to break parts, you know, inside the actual lock mechanism. They sit like this. This piece goes like this, together with this, like so. And so there is two springs. One of them is in the middle, and the other one is on the side, on this side. If you actually look at this piece right here, the lock mechanism, this is supposed to be one piece. And then over here, there's an actual lock, something similar to this guy that's hidden over here, which will be this, okay? So this goes in here, but the other piece goes in first. But so this is the one that actually locks the steering wheel once you pull the key out. Um, so we run into some troubles to, you know, this thing was locked up. Uh, the cylinder was a bit messed up and we had to drill it out. Here's the little pieces that I got out of the actual, um, what do you call it? The lock cylinder, the actual tumbler. Um, so the first thing I wanna mention is before drilling all this out, there's a solution. This is for educational purposes or for demonstration purposes. You could, before doing anything else, if you already know that the, the steering wheel is locked and there is no way around it. You have to set it on the second position for it to actually work. And if in this case, the whole thing was messed up, you gotta separate this too. But before that, you gotta actually um, put it in a second position before you can release either this or this, which is the uh, ignition switch, you know, the actual, um, electronic part or the electric part. And so there's three switches, well, multiple switches in here, but the main ones are the starter, the accessories, and then the one that fits the actual uh, cluster. So there's three positions for it. Once you insert the key, you are in position one, and then, you know, Sorry, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Um, so let's say you have this one. Give me one second. So this is position one. And then this position. position one, position two, and then there's the starter. But as you retract this, this is position zero where you can actually release the key. There's also this thing that moves this piece on the bottom that is the actual switch that turns on the cluster and turns it off and indicates that the key is still there or you know to allow the cluster to go to sleep. So you need to have this synchronized with all this. But let's go back to the point. Um, so you can make two incisions, one here and one over here, which I have done on this just to show you guys, or well, to actually have also memory for myself. Uh, right here, right here. So you can actually push this piece out of the way and then somehow be able to retract the black piece or will you know this piece out if that is completely broken which is very common you also need to drill another hole in the bottom of the um, housing right here you know I had to make it a little bigger because I didn't know exactly where it was located and sitting at but if you actually make it between here and here you'll be able to actually unlock the steering wheel and then be able to remove the holding bolt, which is this guy. And it's got a property, because it only can go in one certain 
um, location or position, okay? You cannot get it out unless you have it unlocked. And so that's gonna be the only way to release this bolt. That will allow you to get the whole thing out. So once you unlock this metal piece, you will be able to slide this bolt out of it so that you can actually remove the whole thing out. But anyways, um, once this thing, if you get a new one, you know, they're still available, they're a bit expensive, but uh, you still can get parts for it. You just gotta dig around and, you know, trying to find one that can be bought and, you know, basically installed. Um, there is a thing. Once you install it all together, you must turn it from the position zero, one, and then two, which is the start. You must turn it right or to, towards the start position so that this thing can unlock and you don't, if you turn it left or basically towards the off position and trying to get the key out, you will lock this thing up and then it will get out of synchronization with all this. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, if you do it, you might, you might have to drill holes again to redo it again and then synchronize the whole thing. But if that happened to you, well, that's fine. Uh, we have this house in here. I just wanna say that you can see right there, there's a slot where the two springs go. One right here, one right here. And then the thing that holds this thing down um, and basically in position is gonna be this guy. It's a spring loaded. And as you can see, uh, right here is what it matches with this part. This is what allows the switch to, you know, the switch move this thing and then this thing moves like this, pushing this thing backwards, allowing this thing to pull back. Or, and then when you should turn it back off, trying to get the key out, this thing is gonna pop back out, pushing this thing out of position, okay? So this thing will come off and then it will come off like this much. So basically what you wanna do is putting it all together, you, you know, you basically gotta release these pins a little bit just enough so you can slide the pieces out. And so you can slide this thing in and then secure this part onto the, obviously you gotta think that this is one piece. It's gonna look more or less like that, like that. Put it all together, lubricate your springs, and then make sure that you put it all together like this. Push it inwards into the housing like that. And then this part, you gotta push it with a screwdriver towards this side onto this thing. And so this thing will be hidden away. I'm just gonna insert it. I know it's broken, but it's something similar to that. Um, give me one second. It might not be possible to, to do it, but you know, I'll try my best. So right there, you'll see how it looks more or less. Okay, so there is a position where you can push it in all the way and it's gonna be hidden away. So, because this one is broken, it's not possible, but you gotta push it all the way inwards and then you're gonna insert this, this guy right here. And the actual lock mechanism is gonna sit on this thing, on this notch right here, okay? And then there is a little arrow right here that's supposed to match with this. And then you gotta, you know, push it in and then it's gonna sit down um, on that position number two and it's gonna sit right over here. Let me get this piece out one second. So once you line it up and you're holding it, obviously with one hand is very hard, you're gonna push it this much and then push your pin inwards. And then there's another pin on this side. And so then that's the position number two where you can realign it, okay? Then once you put it all together, there's another cap that goes on top, which is this guy right here, this one. Okay, so this one sits on top like so. And then at that stage, you can either insert the actual bolt that you're gonna reuse or probably you, you don't need to reuse, but either way, 
you gotta leave it like this okay and then do not turn the mechanism counterclockwise you gotta turn it towards the right towards the passenger side if you're driving on the left hand side so once you do that then you can align this mechanism with the shaft that I show you that goes through in position number two, like that. And so obviously this is all messed up, but you know, this is just to show you guys, obviously you get insert the whole thing, not just the switch, but the whole thing like so. And then at that stage, you can actually push the pins inwards to slide this thing in. So it becomes an assembly all together you know, it's got some movement, you know, some um, lateral movement or, you know, horizontal movement, actually. And then you, you have to slide the uh, transmission cable in here. All right. So there is plenty of room right there. So you can slide it and put it in. And then right there, you don't need to put the um, tumbler just yet. But you, you could try it. And I'm going to show you if I can. Let's see. So we're gonna put the tumbler in. Okay, remember this is position number two. There's some notches that align with this part. So this portion is gonna sit more or less like this. Okay, one second. So that's position number two. And then I'm gonna turn right. Don't turn left on the first position, on the first time. You gotta turn right. It's very hard to do it with my hand. So then, okay, it's already locked up. In here, you can see the black, the white plastic piece with the tumbler is locked in place. Once you attempt to, let's say, start a vehicle, but obviously it's not connected, um, the, you know, now it's locked up. Now let's, let me just move it back. And now you see what happened once I remove the key. That comes out. This, metal, this black piece pops out and now you have it all out. And so at this stage, you can just repeat the process of, you know, trying to move into position number two because you need to put another piece that goes in here holding the tumbler in place, which is going to be um, this other piece. It's got a notch for this piece. And this portion, the flat portion, is going to go facing upwards. There's also a ring that reads the, the key chip and all that, you know, to, for it to, to allow it to start the, the anti-theft system. So you don't want to leave this one in just yet. You want to put it at the end or, you know, whatever feels more comfortable for you. But my advice is just leave it at the end. You have to leave it in position number two. And then once it's in position number two, you're going to be able to actually remove the tumbler one more time. Okay. And you can get it out completely like this. Okay. Like so. Okay. Um, I'm going to place it here for a second. There is a plastic piece that came with the tumbler. I'm going to insert it in here. I don't want this thing to come out you know, by accident. This is a new uh, Euro part replacement. I just replaced the blade. Um, and then I reused the same key because there is a chip in here that, you know, like I said, it's because of the security that it wouldn't allow the car to start if you don't use that key that's, I mean, the uh, chip that's sitting in here. So once you have it like this, you can just insert the, you know, the, thumb, the whole assembly, one piece, insert your cable. Don't forget about the cable. That's very important that you time it on that stage before you put everything together. Then after that, obviously, like I said, I put this thing just temporarily, but you don't need to. So if you, if you want to do it, you, you can do it. But I mean, I feel more safe about it. So then you got to insert it into the assembly on the lock, steering, on the steering um, column. And then you can insert this thing inwards you know, and it's going to allow you to leave it in place and then you can just um, continue to in, with the rest of the installation. Uh, but basically, that's how you time it. 
I know a lot of people say that once you, you know, you lose timing, it's impossible to put it together, but I, I'm telling you, it's not. It's actually just a bit difficult. The timing, like I said, you gotta just time it right. Position number two, this thing comes out, this thing comes out, it's a well, you know, well-made piece, and you just don't force it, you know. Um, like I said, I did it, and I, I think anyone else can do it, anyone who, has experience, you know, working with locks and stuff like that, will know what I'm talking about. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will show you a short uh, once everything is all together. And thanks for watching. Until next time.